Thank you everybody for coming. Appreciate it. It was a, a great time of the year. We got the team checked in yesterday. We'll have our first workout tonight at 6:45. And excited and anxious to get it going. I think uh, this season uh, our expectations are extremely high, and they're high because of the amount of starters that we have coming back offensively, defensively, and special teams. I think we're also a talented football team. I think we have a lot of young men on this team with high character and intelligence. And uh, this two days will be important to determine what kind of personality we're going to get offensively and defensively. And you feel good about it. Uh, these young men went to work last January. They committed themselves uh, this summer. And it was really nice last night having them all a team meeting for the first time. Uh, and you can tell their expectations or as high as my own. We're on the same page there. We, we expect uh, to have a great camp. Uh, you know, we've got tremendous senior leadership. We have leadership from the junior class. We have a lot of guys committing to make this, this season special. Uh, and we're just, we're aiming to get it going. And, uh, anyway, any questions? Coach, what did uh, playing Texas close last year mean? as far as your expectations for this year? You know what, I, I really, I'd say the last three games, this football team, offensively, we have 46 points a game. I think the last three games give us a lot of momentum going into the start of this season. Um, I think this team believes it can compete uh, with anybody in the country, and that that's the type of talent and the, the type of uh, love they have for each other that they don't want to let anybody down. And I think you know you get that type of, of attitude and you have a bunch of guys having a lot of fun, you know, working hard, uh, that the, the sky could be the limit for. You know, we expect to go out there and be very competitive. David, you you've said as far as the the roster just coming in, you're not having to wait on, on you know, maybe like freshmen to come in and do things. Going into camp, what does that do for you that you you have a veteran team that you can just go right in. They know the stuff already, and you can kind of just take off this swing and start adding your stuff. Well, you know, right now we know Taylor our cards are starting quarterback. We didn't know that during the last last two days. We know our starting offensive line is our defensive line. Saying that too, there's guys behind them that are competing, trying to, to beat them. You know, their positions are locked in stone, but it's also one where they have an understanding of what we're doing offensively, defensively, and special teams where you're getting better practice one. You're not having to teach language. You're not having to teach huddles. You're able to, to take concepts and improve on them from the first meeting to when you walk off the field. That's one of the things, you know, challenges football team to do is we have to improve on the best. Uh, and I, I think it's one that, that, you know, good football teams improve from this first practice all the way through the bowl games. And, and that's what we need to do. We need to improve every day. And I think we can do that. Is there any motivation in where the mean you picked you guys to finish in your division? Uh, you know, the motivation was already there, it didn't, regardless of where the media picked us. Uh, I think this team is just on a mission. I think any time, though, that the team really feels that I feel that we can really do something special this year. I think the, I think the parity in our division is incredibly co close with all the returning quarterbacks. Uh, I think, you know, what we have offensively coming back, I think defensively getting Scott Solomon back, I think a lot of people have forgotten how good Scott, the football player that Scott Solomon is. Uh, you know, he's a guy that's capable of his junior seasons. He was three sacks a game, three quarterbacks, hurries, and we'll be much improved not only offensively, but also defensively to where we'll have a chance to compete in the conference. That's what we want to do. What did you see with the um, with Coach Sermon and, and kind of what what he did with the corner and then working with Coach Reeves with the safety, kind of how the, the secondary looked in, in the spring and kind of building off of that now? Yeah, you know, Coach Sermon, he's uh, got, got quite a resume. Um, he's also got a full head of gray hair from all his style, so he's a, a wealth of experience. And I think, you know, sometimes change is good. And I think he's uh, got those corners believing. Um, and what they can accomplish. We're going to be more aggressive uh, in what our corners are asked to do. And, and uh, 
you know, I, I've already nicknamed him the corner of this board, you know, and uh, we really enjoyed him, and, and Coach Dan talked more about what we're going to do defensively, but, you know, he's, he's somebody that's already paid dividends with him joining us. You got a few Mohawks on the team this year. Is that your doing? Or? Well, I tell you, we'll be real honest with you. I think we're about to have a lot more Mohawks, and uh, uh, they're under that hair. It's really blue, and so when they walked in with the blue Mohawks, I told them they're media there. They could have black hair, brown hair, gray hair, red hair, but we weren't going to have blue hair, and so they're dyed in black. But I think when this is over, they're going to go out in the shower and go right back to blue. But you know what? It's, you need to have fun uh, during camp. You need to build camaraderie and. And uh, I look forward to seeing how many of these guys are going to have the, the blue hair and the blue Mohawks by the end of two of these. They, they come up with something fun uh, every season, and that looks like the direction we're going this year. So if you win against Texas, would you like them to shave your head to give you one? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, I may get so much gray, I may go ahead and dye it blue. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to handle the heat, Coach? You know what, we're going to go in the morning and, and at night. We'll be under the lights and practice in the morning. We're not going to put them out uh, in the heat of the day. They're in great shape uh, from this summer. And uh, I'm not worried about the shape. I know our strength coach has done a great job getting them in shape, getting them mentally tough. And we'll go, we'll go morning and night until school starts. Can you elaborate on that? Speaker work, Coach K, and talk about the numbers of guys <coughs> coming out of the summer being in their best shape ever. It's, it's better than it's ever been this time of year. What has been your impression of like, how you guys are committed to really their strength and conditioning over the summer? Well, I think, you know, one of the things we have this year, in case we got a senior class of 20 uh, young men, when you have seniors that are, are set the expectation and raising the bar of, of everybody underneath them, they say, <coughs> You know, you meet with the seniors and you set the standards and then you expect those, the seniors to make sure everybody's involved in achieving. I think that's what we're getting at. You look with Travis Bradshaw and Jammer, Michael Smith and Scott Solomon. These guys have all been here four or five years ago. You know, they came here to win. Uh, Coach K challenged them, you know, really starting back in January. And they are bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, a lot of them much bigger, a lot of them much faster. Uh, uh, you know, for instance, Justin Warren, when we signed him a year ago, he's 228, and he's now 286 pounds. Uh, Ian Gray was 345. Ian's now down to 320 because that's what we need him for this, this season. So these young men all set goals, and they're all very close to achieving what they need to be, their desired weight, speed, strength when they hit camp. And that's, that's exciting that we've got all of them here uh, this summer. Uh, you know, the tough part in the summer for, for me and the coaches is we can't watch them monitor them. So today will really be our first opportunity in the day where we can have work hands on with them. And, and, you know, everything I've seen so far is just from listening. And Coach K showed me on paper uh, this morning in the staff meeting. But all indications are we're in great shape, great role. Is that an underlying component of your enthusiasm? Back in 2008, that was a senior driven team. And you have the elements in place here for a lot of guys who've been in this program since you've been here to really, you know, spark this group moving forward. Is, is that part of why you feel so enthusiastic about this group? Yeah, there's no doubt, too. And I also think that there's talent, too, okay? Um, we have a large group of seniors. We have a talented group of seniors. We have a talented group of juniors. Um, we're also getting some leadership from the middle of those senior and junior classes. You know, and that's where you, you get a football team that, that listens, um, and then is they're the ones that are making sure um, not only what the coaches, they're self-policing, they're the ones making sure people are going to get mental reps at practice, you know, where everybody's in it together and everybody's, the older guys are helping the younger guys because, you know, it's all about winning. But, yeah, that, that does fuel your enthusiasm when you have a senior class that we do. Speaking of the senior class and all the juniors, what did, what did those last two games last year, how did, do those talk about seeing what the team can do when, when, I guess, the pieces are all together and working? Well, that's the one thing, Mac, everybody, you know, by last year, we'd already lost Scott Mitchell. You know, everybody that was performing in those last two games is back. Uh, you know, and that gives you a, a level of encouragement and it also knows what you can achieve when, when everybody's healthy and we've got the right pieces. 
uh, to the puzzle out there that, you know, a lot of that happened when Taylor McCarty came back. Uh, there was a reason, you know, he started the, the first game against the University of Texas. We think he's that talented. We think he can manage a football game. We think he can extend plays. And you saw the team really rally around him, and that's what they need to do at that position. David, what do you want to focus on? What are you going to be looking for, just team-wise, the area? You know, we, you know, we have to – I mean, this for the first time since I've been here, we're not waiting on a freshman class to come in and fill roster spots. Um, you know, so this is – we've got some – we've got some depth that we haven't had in the past. We need to make sure that that – the guys in depth are game ready. So if anything does happen, you know, we're not working with a true freshman who just got here. We're working with young men that have been in the program, you know, a year or two, and we need to make sure that that depth is ready to go when we need it. Bottom line though, Joseph, it's about improving every day. You know, we can't have any bad days. When we walk on that football field, you know, we've got to be enthusiastic, we've got to be passionate, we've got to be accountable to each other. And, you know, I'm going to monitor each and every day to make sure we have that attitude when we get to football field. And I'm also relying heavily on the, on the senior class to ensure that we don't have bad days. You talk about the running back position and what you expect out of that, who some of the players are that we can look forward to yeah, seeing. Absolutely. I think we're blessed at running back that we have five quality running backs that can start almost anywhere in the conference. You've got a senior, Tyler Smith, who uh, can be an every down back. For us, he's very exciting. And you have Sam McGuffey, uh, who will play a lot of different places uh, this season. I think you will see Sam. Last year, Sam felt the pressure uh, transferring in from Michigan, uh, where at times he tried to do too much. I think Sam has been very relaxed. He's had a great off season. Sam has also worked extremely hard on becoming an every down back, where we can keep him in and short periods. We can keep him in when they're throwing the ball. Uh, Jeremy Eddington is back. Jeremy averaged 6.2 yards of a carry last year. He's up to 230 pounds. Charles Ross is, is back. He's a, a powerful, explosive running back. He's 235 pounds. And Turner Peterson. So I, I think we have five backs. And that's a lot of what where we started taking off last year, too, when we were getting those guys in football game. You talk about the schedule that, I mean, a lot of times. Uh, out of conference, you pick up somebody that, you know, it's going to be relatively easy. You don't have that. No, it's a challenging schedule. Uh, but you know what? We look forward to, to going to Austin September 3rd and, and playing the long home. Our, you know, our team, and they'll tell you about it. We're, we're excited to go down there and play. It's a beautiful venue. You know, we turn around, we get Purdue at home at 2.30 in the afternoon. We're excited about, you know, 2.30 in the afternoon. This camp here get us ready to go. It's challenging, but it's something you know, if we're going to get this program better, and we are, it's time for us to start proving it and playing in some of those games and winning.